In just under a week, myself and Mrs. Clue's lives are going to change in a big way. And that is thanks to the arrival of Mini Clue. Now, being the techie that I am, over the past few months, I've been preparing in my own way, deciding on pieces of tech that I think may well be able to help me and my wife in the big adjustment in life. So why don't you join me as we take a look at five tech products aimed at babies and nurseries that I think any new or expectant parent should be thinking about. Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Bite Size Clue. Let's talk about the first product and that is something that most households already have but I think will fit perfectly into the nursery environment and that is the Amazon Echo devices. For under £50 you can get the Echo Pop and it is the perfect way to be able to remotely play music and sounds to try and soothe a grumbly baby at night. Let's say that you're asleep in bed and your baby decides it doesn't want to sleep anymore and wants to wake up. Well you can start to remotely play sounds or perhaps even nursery rhymes or lullabies to help soothe your baby without you having to even be in the room. The reason I've chosen the Pop is not only for its price point, but also because it removes all of the cameras. And obviously that's quite a big privacy concern when it comes to devices like this. Let's move on to cameras and talk a little bit about baby monitors. And I think that's a point that's really caused some controversy in our household anyway. Because I've always been a firm believer that Wi-Fi based cameras, such as the Cubo and the Owlet, are perfect for nurseries because they can be accessed from anywhere in the world. So even if I'm on a trip away, I can still check in on baby Charlie wherever I am. And it has smart AI features too, knowing when the baby is rolled over onto their front or perhaps there's something over their face and they can't breathe. But there is of course major privacy concerns here as well. And that's something that my wife has brought up to me. Wi-Fi enabled cameras are super easy to hack. And that's why something like these guys, the GHB, are perhaps a better option for many people. They're not only a lot cheaper, with this set coming in at just £40, they're also significantly more secure. They don't use Wi-Fi, they still use a 2.4GHz network, but will only transfer to the little monitor that comes in the box. You can connect up to two cameras to the monitor, and can also view things like the temperature in the room, and even play sounds out of the camera. Sure, the quality is not fantastic, coming in at around 480p, but quite honestly, for what you need it for to quickly check in on your baby, I think this is almost perfect and a great solution. Next up, let's talk about sanitization. This is the Philips Avanti Advanced Bottle Steriliser. This is the kind of product that you don't really think about too much when it comes to babies, but is super important. Using just 30 ml of water, it can sterilize any of your bottles and other items such as dummies in under 10 minutes. It's super convenient and super easy to use too. A lot of the time you can get this online or even in stores for under £50. Right now on Amazon it is £65, but doing a little bit of shopping around you can easily find this for under £50 and it is a must have for any parent. Next up let's talk about smart toys. I'm actually a little bit jealous about this one because I think this is really cool and I kind of want one myself. This is the Fisher Price Smooth and Snuggle Otter. It's a soft toy aimed at children, but can also be used by adults too, and has a range of different features to soothe and comfort your baby. Not only can it play sound and have, light, and have a light up chest, but it can also breathe slowly, allowing for a comforting and soothing motion around your baby. And of course, this otter's face is super adorable. It sits perfectly into basically any environment, can be set for a few different timers, for example, 5, 10, 15 minutes, and you can also choose which of the features are enabled at once. For example, if you only want the light and the breathing, then that can be done. Again, this is frequently on sale, and right now is around £35, which is an absolute steal. Before we move on to the fifth product though, I do just want to say that if any of these products are interesting you, then I will leave links in the description down below to Amazon, where you can also create a baby wish list. This is something that I've done myself, and I found super useful. It's allowed me to keep track of the things that I'm buying, and also send this list out to friends and family who are perhaps wanting to buy baby shower gifts. Also, once you've added five products to your basket, you're also eligible to get a free product. In our case, we chose three bottles. 
Alongside that as well, for the next three purchases, you'll get 15% off of anything on your baby wish list. It's a super convenient way to be able to track everything and also ensure that when people are buying things for you, you're not gonna get duplicates. Let's move on to the fifth product, and that is an air purifier. This is one of the cheaper air purifiers on the market right now, coming in at that sweet spot under 50 pounds, and is a super important item to have in a room, particularly with a small child. In recent years, there have been clinical studies that suggest bad air quality in babies' rooms will increase the likelihood of them developing things like asthma in the long run. You don't have to break the bank and go with Wi-Fi models if you don't want to. I certainly didn't hear and don't regret it. This guy is small, compact, and easy to use. It comes in at that sweet spot under 50 pounds, sits in the corner of the room, and I can just set it and forget it, making sure that my child is breathing the healthiest air that they can. Anyway guys, what do you think of these five products? Are there other products that you perhaps would have suggested? If you're interested in more videos just like this one, let me know in the comment section down below and of course get subscribed while you're down there as well because I do plan to do more videos just like this one during the development process of Little Charlie. Anyway guys, my name's Bryn Robert, this has been Bite Size Clue and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.